Today we're gonna talk about Raven of the Inner Palace episode 2. Call a riveting one. Before we get ahead of ourselves, let's talk about the thumbnail first. Kinili Gayolo! If you have seen the episode that is. Well, simple lang eh. Nangyari na. Nabighani ang Emperor Kisusue. And as a sign of um as a sign of thanks, binigyan niya ng kanyang favorite candy si Susue and parang uh, a fish locket that uh, that is proof of his promise na hindi siya hindi siya ipapapatay nito. Hindi naman uh hindi naman magkakaroon ng ganitong dahil ng emperor kung wala nga uh, kung wala siyang ebidensya. Now, if you've seen the episode, you have um you know what I'm saying. Pero, come on guys. This makes a great thumbnail. Okay? <laughs> Kilig moment dito eh. Kilig moment dito. But, it also makes me wonder, why are historical anime so majestic in nature? Right? Yeah. If you've, if you've, um, if you've watched animes for the, for nearly, for at least half your life, you know where I'm getting from. Take a look at Kingdom. Okay? Take a look at Cooking Master Boy. Take a look at, well, wag na tayong lumayo, Requiem of a Rose King. Again, I'll pose the question. Why are these historical animes so majestic in nature? I, uh, I, I, uh, I almost, I, I get, I always get that same vibe. Eh. This anime is no different. And the thumbnail is probably proof of that. Now, let's get down to business. Pace! Medyo mabilis yung pacing pagdating ng second half of the episode. Because during the first half, uh, medyo may tenseness ang dating eh, kaya medyo mabagal. Because Joshua was still investigating kung Ano talaga yung nangyari dun sa original owner ng Jade E. Ring? Then, upon the Emperor ordering na ginisin nyo ang palasyong yun kasi nalaman niya rito na na pinapapatay pala siya ng Empress Dowager. Dun talaga naging tense ang pacing ng episode na to. I can say that the pacing of this episode was well placed kasi ang ganda ng timing ng ng pacing ng episode to. It was slow when it needed to be. It was fast when it absolutely needed to be. Flow naman. First gear shift here was nung uh, Joshua decided to to um, to do some further investigation at puntahan ang wash house. Kasi nabalitaan niya na yung dating lady in waiting ng may-ari ng Jade Earring ay nandun. Doon tinatago. Ang gear shift na to, ang nag-unlock sa buong episode na to. Final gear shift. Oo, dalawa lang po. Was when biglang nag-report yung ah, uh, yung no, nangyari sa ating boyfriend, fiancé pala ng ng na-frame up na may-ari ng JD Ring. No brainer of a gear shift, folks. Kasi, Kung hindi nalaman ng emperador ito, wala, kigok na rin siya. Ganong katuso, ganong kaitim ang budhi ng kanyang stepmother. If you've seen the episode already, this is probably the biggest gear shift of this episode. If you contend with that, comment below right now. So, those two gear shifts that I saw definitely define this episode. Panoorin nyo lang ang dalawang eksenang yan, magkikits nyo na ang buong episode na to. Bloodwise. There were a few minor backstory sequences, pero parang inulit lang yung ilang backstory sequence na pinakita rin sa pilot. But nonetheless, it's still a backstory sequence. Kaya, Planchado of blood, guys. I couldn't find it in my heart of hearts to, to 
all the plot of Queen Moni kasi it has slowly dawned on me oh, while I was watching this episode na Raven of the Inner Palace is also a detective anime kasi merong nasolve na case dito and it's and it's all because of the main protag the Raven Consort in a detective anime backstory sequences and of course explainers are vital to the success of an episode Ito, yup, totally necessary ang mga backstory sequences dito. Right? Especially when, especially those sequences that came from the Emperor's mouth. Siya mismo nagkikwento. So, wow. Right? I'd say, we're going to see more well-ironed out plots in this anime. Yup, dahil, well, we can now safely say that this anime is also a detective anime. So, expect backstories, expect explainers. If you're not totally familiar with the, with the detective genre, of course. Eh, eh, sabi ko sa inyo, guys. Alright? So, base, flow, and plot, they all came together for this one episode, folks. Talagang. Wow! Okay? I can now say, two episodes in, that this anime is a gem. Okay, I can now make that bold statement. So, Raven of the Inner Palace, episode 2. No brainer, folks. Two thumbs up! Pero, balikan natin yung kilig moment. Eh. <laughs> well, uh, it's like I told you before in, uh, in my review of the pilot. Kung ito ang kung ang kanyang silver hair ang magiging dahilan ng pagkakabighani sa kanya ng emperador, well, by all means, let's see it. Ayan na ha! <laughs> Nakita na natin. In the final scene, ayun, nabighani nga sa kanyang emperor. So, we can now say that, well, Raven of the Inner Palace also has a romance element. Yup! Confirmed! <laughs> so, if you're into the romance genre, you might as well start watching this anime. Like I told you a while ago, guys. After two episodes in, I can say that this anime is a gem. He has ito for 2022. So again, Raven of the Inner Palace, episode 2. 2000! 